Hi, I'm Keely, and welcome to the Artist Fun channel, where art it is fun. Today, I'm going to be doing a centerpiece inspired by the season, spring. I went to the Dollar Tree, and I looked around in their floral and garden department, or shall I say section, and then I also went and see their new spring items that they were getting in, in their seasonal section, for any ideas. And then I realized, too, that I had some leftover materials at home that also can be used for this project. I'm going to show you a quick few things that I have. I have this leftover moss ball, some dried mushrooms and wooden balls, and I also had some leftover uh, moss, which I did purchase at the Dollar Tree. And then I've got these cool fairy lights from Christmas after Christmas sale, and they're $14 and I got them for 80% off. Really cute. And they have a neat little different size crystal balls on it, and it also had these little silver jingle bells and I just carefully took them off and this year they have neat succulents and they won't last long once everybody realized they're there they're really beautiful pretty succulents and I've picked up some dragonflies and butterflies and this really cool birdhouse that you have to glue to put together yourself and paint which I like and uh, some floral like they some ferns, tall grass. I got a twig for my garden, which is what I'm going to be putting the bird nest on. Uh, they usually carry blue eggs with brown specks on them, but they were out of them. Uh, they did have some bigger ones in the Easter bunny section <laughs> for Easter, and uh, they were just too huge. So what I realized is I remembered I have some toppers for the dial rod and I'm going to paint them to blue with and put brown specks on to like eggs and then just carefully sit them into the bird nest here. So that, that'll work out well. And I've got some colorful spring flowers and I think, oh, and the reefs. I picked up a couple reefs and I'm going to show you how I carefully take them apart and put them around the dial. And then I'll put the lights around. So this is really going to be a beautiful project. I, I'm really excited. I also found these realistic looking uh, butterflies, 3D butterfly stickers. So that's going to be interesting. I'm going to put them on little skewer, skewer sticks and put them in the base so that it looks like butterflies coming out. I love that. <laughs> so stick around. We're going to have fun getting creative. First, I'm going to paint these little toppers, wooden toppers, blue with, and put brown specks on them to make them look like eggs for the bird nest. And then that way they can be drying while we're doing the other projects. Okay. I preferred these two colors. This is called Robin Egg Blue. And then I took a little bit of the Caribbean Blue just to put on the tips to, to give it more divine shape and of course raw umber I put water in it with just a little bit left in here shake it around and I'm going to use toothbrush to put it on all right so let's get this done use my finger just paint it blue really good You don't have to get, be too careful to go all the way down because that part's going to be on the bottom of the nest, glued to the bottom of the nest. This is going to be the most part and part is the top. Okay. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of the darker blue and just kind of give it a little bit of a brush here and there. Just a little, just to make it a little more. 
rounded at the top because those eggs are not perfectly solid blue. They have a little variation in them. If you ever saw real robin eggs, there we go. I'm going to take a paintbrush. Excuse me. I'm going to take a toothbrush. <laughs> An old toothbrush. A little baby because the small one can fit down in there. And then I just give it a little go because see it's going to drip big. I'm going to need my cloth here. And just practice right there. Yeah, and then just do gently. Just a few specks. And there it is. A nice blue robin egg. I'm going to have to do a few more. And if you make it a little boo-boo, you just simply tab it and the boo-boo's gone. <laughs> little splotch instead of splatter there. Oh, that's so cute. Carefully put that down. There. Now we can just let that dry. Next project. The birdhouse. We're going to put it together and then we're going to paint it. So that'll be next. Okay, now we're going to get this out of the way. We'll put this in here. Get this out of the way while it's drying. And then the instructions are on here how to do this. Sizzles. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna use our glue six. Glue again. Glue glue. It's cute. Instruction says there's the top, bottom. There's the dowel. Alright. This is the bottom. And I guess we glue it together. Sides, bottom, okay, let's do this, glue it together. So cute, so adorable. Now to paint it. See, these are nice and dry. Oh, they're so pretty. They're gonna go so good in this. Yeah. Beautiful. Love it. Okay. The birdhouse. I took the birdhouse and I painted it with a cream color paint. And then I'm going to take some white and just kind of make it look weathered and just kind of hit it here and there with some white. Just to kind of make it look weathered. Makes it fun, fun, fun. 
There's no rules to this, you can just play with it. I love cream and white and grays and blacks together and that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it black for the top. And I think that's it. Get this in there. Stick. Little part. Take this. Set off. Now I want to do the top. Simple black. Now, to make it a little fun, I'm going to put some of these colors in it, like a, give it like a rust color to make it look like rust. Try to get a little lighter here. Yeah, that's nice. Oops, touched it. <laughs> Kind of same way you did the white, just kind of just hit it like that, and that's done. That's it. And if you want to, if you got a little stamp, you can stamp a little pattern on it. I'm just gonna leave it plain like this. I think it's cute just like that. And I'll let this dry. So while this is drying, I'm gonna set it over there. Next, we're gonna have to work on putting some of these together. I got little sticks that I love. And these are really cool little butterflies. They're like 3D, see? I think it'd be really cool. Turn them off. You know what? I need to go wash my hands before I do this. I'll be right back. Okay, hands nice and clean. I see. That'd be cool to do these butterflies. It's a sticker. Like. Flying. Oh, that's cool. That'd be real cool. Kind of like the trail it's leaving. I like that. There's one. Oh, this one's beautiful. Do them different ways so they're going a different way, like the flames when you stick it in. I like that. Oh, this one's cool too. I want 
this pretty yellow one. You'll have it just sitting on here, like so. So it just look like it's sitting like that. Might do the same thing with this guy. Like a bit of birdie, 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 birdie. Let's do this guy. Let's do him. Because he doesn't want to hang on. So this way I got his wing on with his body. There we go. And we got a couple little ones left if we decide to use it on something else. I might put one sitting on the bird's nest, maybe. We'll see. This guy. This is cool. Get him ready. Look at these. Oh, they're so cool. Could use some of these sticks. I'm going to use the raw wood because I think it goes good with everything. Oh, how this? Oh, wow. So this is stuck on with metal. Interesting. It's really cool and all, but I don't need it, so I'm just going to take it off. Can't take it off, I'll cut it. I'm going to glue it. And I'm going to do it kind of crooked, like that. So when I put it in, he'll look really cool. I'm gonna let him dry over here. Just because it's steak. I think I will put this guy on a smaller one. Maybe even on the top. I think that'd be cool. Sit him against the jar like that. Try. Got another one. These are also. It's also got little metal. Which is kind of cool. This I'm just gonna pull off here. Simple as that. This I'm gonna say. This I'll show how to do that in a little bit. This done. This got us. I'll cut it.
can put this together like this. So, these guys so what I think I might do is put them on here like this first And you can use any kind of green color that you like. With this, you can make it contrasting like a dark green. I am using olive green. You can also leave these, the raw color of the wood. I mean, it, it doesn't matter because there's going to be raw color wood in this. And it's going to be beautiful. Either way, whatever color you decide to do. Okay. I think I look good on there.
right there. You know how the dragonflies naturally like to perch on things like sticks and twigs and high grass. Mike had one when we were hiking, land right on his shoulder. I've got a picture of it and it would not leave. We had to shoo it off and it come back and land back on his shoulder. I was like, I wonder if that means good luck. Maybe you should go play the lottery. I'm going to carefully lay this down to dry and I'm going to take one of these small butterflies and I'm going to put it on here, maybe up, up on the twig up here. It's already telling a story of its own. Oh, I love these guys. Let's see if we can do something to one of them. I think I'll leave them plain because I really just, oh, they're so pretty. They're so awesome. I'm just gonna put some down there. I think what I'm gonna do is after I get some stuck in, I might come back and add one like on sitting on stick like I did on this so let's save these for that put it right over here these fun guys they're just gonna be sitting on the high grass or a plant or twig guys over here all right I think they just about have everything assembled. We're gonna put these little guys together real quick with some raw sticks, like so. And I'm just gonna put this around. There's one. It's a nice big one. Nice and tall. Put him on there. Let him sit for a minute and then I will connect him with the wire. Just a couple more of these guys. These are really cool. Let's see, I'm gonna do small ones. This will look good like Oh, that's so cool. Love me so. Okay. First, I'm going to start with the spare. I'm going to take the reefs and unwrap them around. I'm going to use floor of hand. Wrap it around like that.
just to give it an extra support. I'm gonna put another piece here. But I really like how it's looking. It's looking great. I really love it. All right. I just realized uh, so I was going to paint it red. together. Okay, I cleaned up my area because now it's time to assemble the centerpiece. And uh, while I was waiting for my battery to the camera to charge up, I went ahead and finished the birdhouse. Uh, earlier I showed you that I painted it cream and then whitewashed it, painted the roof uh, black, and then I gave it some colors of like a yellow orca and rust color just a wash over it to tone it down and make it look old. And then I just glued some neat little pieces here that was in the moss, left, extra moss I had left over from another project and just put little twigs. And when I pulled the suc succulent out of this pot, right here, there was some foam in there. And I just simply used that foam, stuffed it in there before I put the twigs and everything. So there it is. From the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna hang that on the, the grapevine up there. But first, I've been going to assemble this. Now, I went on ahead and started. I took some moss sheet that was left over and it was cut in all shape. And I simply used uh, planter pins to push 
in to hold it and this is just loose pieces here and I just kind of stuffed it in and the reason why I did that is because of the light in here you can pull it out turn it on and put it back in simple as that and what's holding this up is I have a few extra pieces left over of dowel and I just stuck it in there sideways and I put two to hold it up so it's big enough for that to go into and now that gives you more space room to put our fun little fun little house on there Uh, gnome. All right, so let's finish this, okay? I always start with the tallest thing, which is our bird nest. It's so cool. I'm in love with it. I'm going to put it on the opposite side, then I'm going to put this. So it'll be on this side. And I'm going to put it towards me first. Let's see how I want this. It's kind of in the back coming forward. Yes, I'm going to put it in the back coming forward. There we go. Beautiful. I'm going to turn it back around gently so you can see it. So pretty. There we go. Now, the next tallest, uh, ooh, I'm gonna use the feelers here, which is the tall grass. And like I said, I've gotta remember where this is going. So, like that, oh, not that close. There we go, like that. Down, spread out, and the side. Absolutely love it. Oh, it's beautiful. And next, I'm going to put our beautiful spring flowers. Ooh, I almost lost them. You stay over here. We got the beautiful pink. It looks like uh, what they call the baby breath. And then I got three. It's actually one that came together and I pull it apart because instead of just putting them all grouped together, maybe I want to put one here and one over here, you know, it just makes it feel more alive. See, I'm going to separate all these guys real quick. Look, pansies. That's so super cool. Like, really, really cool. And there we go. So now we know what all we have. All right. Now this I didn't separate. I left it one because I love this and I think it should go right up in here. So that's gonna be last and we'll figure that out. So we'll go ahead and put these guys in. I'm gonna turn it back around just a little bit so I can see what I'm doing here. Bend these guys right. Stick them in. Just start randomly sticking the flowers in. And that's what I'm going to do. Ah, oh, so, so beautiful. Where's my wire cutters? Wire cutters! Where are you? Oh, there they are. I love these. So cute. I'll put some over here. peeking through because you don't want to forget the back. Want the back looking pretty too. Yeah. Put this one right here. Make it a little shorter. Like 
said, that one's going to be there. So I'm going to leave room for my pink now. So move it over. I might go ahead and put this in. And I'm going to make it shorter. Put it in there. Put it right there. a little bit because I want it to go that way a little more. Try to go there we go. It's beautiful. I'm gonna do the back here. This look like purple iris. Oh it's so pretty. Put this fellow back here. tree. I mean, it's awesome. There's this guy. Get him in there. Oh, looks so pretty in the back. I'm going to show you the back real quick. I know it looks beautiful in the front. But look at the back. Isn't that just so pretty? Oh, look at all the colors. Mm. You know what? I'm going to pull this back out. I'm going to put it back in the same place, but I'm going to make it a little bit shorter. It's just crowding my beautiful pink flowers. There we go. There we go. That's beautiful. Now it's time for the baby breath. Let's see. I'm going to have this here. So I'll put the baby breath right there. I'm going to need it to be short. Right there. Down that area. Oh, that's so pretty. All right, now we got our fun little ferns. I might not use all of them, but I'll put one right here. It's got the dragonfly on it. Makes it fun. Love the dragonflies. All right here with the baby breath. Fill in the back with the rest. You know what? It needs to be shorter. No problem. We'll just cut it. Oh, where did that go? <laughs> I'm gonna put it kind of behind the flowers because I don't want the flowers to get lost. I want this just to fill it in a little bit, but I don't want to lose the flowers. Let's see, we need one right here. There we go. Kind of behind the flower. That's beautiful. Try to make this one low. Like really super low. There we go. A cute baby tiny one. All right, now we see where that we gotta go. We still gotta cover the base part here. And I'm just loving this. I might put not, um, like I said, I won't, I don't think I'll use all of these, but I'm gonna put a couple just to give it a little something extra. I really love these. Just 
put it like down in there like that not sure about this one mm, too light too light too light too light save for another project okay put oh big tall one I don't know though this just looks so beautiful maybe right here I don't want it to take away from the nest Nah, too big. Save for another project. That's pretty. Oh, I like that. Now that can go right there. Just to give it a little something. Yeah, I like that. It's beautiful. You know what? I'm thinking I love this, but this look better. Just need it shorter so I'm gonna cut it off right here oh yeah put that back where I had it oh that's beautiful that's pretty love that that looks good all right we're gonna put these and save these for another project put these up next we had our neat little sticks and some extra butterflies we can stick in there and I'm gonna put these guys really close in the grass tall grass where you can just see them peeking through like they're on the dowel there so you won't really notice them until you get up close then you see like a butterfly hiding in up in there that's really cool Let's see if we can do one down here. I'm gonna cut it. Because it needs something right there. Ah, yeah, that's beautiful. Just needs to curl. And don't be afraid to take some of these plants and curl them a little bit to give them some shape, you know? Like a real fern. Okay, we got these little sticks that I put little butterflies on. I'm just gonna randomly put them somewhere in here. You know what? I love this one. And it's got color. It'll look so good right there. Let's use that one. Oh, that's so pretty. That worked. That worked. You know what? Let's do it right here. Oh, I think that's gonna work. Yeah, it is. started putting the succulents in stabbing them in randomly now the trick to this is where the light comes off again I made a little pocket as I showed you for it to go in and out so you can turn them on and off let's go slide back right back in the pocket really easy that's it but you don't want to put anything permanent there so I've got these neat little husk and I put gold leaf on them. Like I said, it was for another leftover from another project. And you just simply just sit them in there. For, well, first you want to finish putting your succulents all the way around. 
So I'm gonna put this one right here. Hide the base. Oh, that's so cute. Put right here. Push it out of there. Hide this one. Oop, too long. first just set them in there Let's see if you need you put little ones in there with it it's nice and loose fitting no glue necessary you just stick it in there let's see for the fun of it we'll stick this last one in between the succulents here carefully And there you have it. I was gonna put our little gnome on with this house. <laughs> put some glue on these little feetsies. There we go. Make sure I have them facing our way. Put them right there. Right by his door. There we go. And let's not forget the birdhouse. So put the birdhouse in. Birdhouse. Yeah. I was playing with this earlier. And now I forgot how I had it. Like that, I think. So let's try not to play around to see where to put it. But once you find the perfect spot, it should be fine. I think that's good. I'm going to turn around now, guys. Let you look at it from the front. Just the front. Did you see that? There you go. Thank you for watching. I hope this gives you some fun ideas for your own centerpiece for spring. You can use this for like a tea party or just sit it on your foyer just to decorate for spring or in your sunroom for when your guests come by. But uh, overall this was fun and it's amazing that most of this came from the Dollar Tree and it really looks beautiful. So. Again, thank you for watching, and please remember, like, subscribe, and hit that bell. See you next time.